I'm trying to land a stunt with every single vehicle in GTA 5 single player. There's a total of 292 of which I've completed 68 already. So today we're just gonna be continuing down the list and yep, yeah, try and land some cool stunts. First vehicle of the day will be the Banshee. So far landing a stunt with every single category has taken about 2-3 to three hours every episode. But yeah, for this first one, I just want to clear this jump and make it into this parking garage right around the corner. Right into here. Starting off easy in today's episode. Another thing that's easy is taking your browsing experience to the next level with the help of today's sponsor, Opera GX. If you're tired of having an old boring browser, then Opera GX has got you covered. By enabling GX mods, you can personalize your browser to the full extent with everything from satisfying keyboard sounds, to just about anything you can imagine. You can install ready-to-go themes with animated backgrounds and music that will totally transform the look and sound of your browser, even when opening and closing tabs. Like this one is pretty sick, it plays a car door opening and closing for the tabs. And the best part is that you can of course mix all of these mods together to truly make it look and sound just how you want it by visiting the DX store where there's thousands of mods to choose from. Upper DX also has chat GPT built straight into the sidebar with easy access while browsing along with other smart AI tools to help you out when gaming or just browsing. And in the sidebar you can also access Discord, Messenger, TikTok, which is very very convenient. You can head over to the DX corner to stay up to date on upcoming games, find free to play games and also find the best deals out there right now. And compared to the release of GTA 6, upgrading your browser goes very fast as it only takes a few seconds to import all your settings from your previous browser. So thanks once again to Opera DX for sponsoring today's video. Use my link in the description to go and check it out and let's continue with today's episode. And yeah, we got some weird vehicles coming up today so it actually took me quite a long time to yeah, find stunts for all of them but that looks pretty good. No, kind of sick to make it through these small gaps on the side. These ones right here. Let's see, if I want to aim for that, we should probably go a bit more right about here. Oh, that's the palm tree. Yeah, that's the that's the problem with that. I got too much right, but there maybe. Oh, too much middle, and that's I'm still too slow. Okay, better speed on this one for sure. And don't tell me it's too. No, it's too high. <laughs> Which can only mean that now we just have the middle left, and it's coming up right here in three, two, one. What an entry, that was so clean. And we also called it as well, but here we go. That was stunt number one, complete. Next up in the muscle category, we got the Chino. Classic muscle car here, and the idea is to go up here, go into this wall, get a clean spin, and then go through the triangle in that tower right there. I've done similar stunts down here, but I don't think I've ever tried this specific gap. So let's see if it's even possible. I mean, could be that the car isn't even fast enough, but hopefully it is. It's maxed out, and that is... <laughs> Probably the worst attempt you can get, okay. Let's try to activate this a bit earlier. Steer more into it, and I think that should work. I'm go all the way up here, maybe. Um, ooh, I'm not sure. I don't really give the stunts too many tries when I look for the spots. I just kind of try it once, and then I'm like, ah, that's probably going to work. And <laughs> sometimes it doesn't. Oh, no, that was it, dude. If I lead more forwards, I think I can make it through there. Oh. Land it. Oh my god, thank you. <laughs> Almost tilted over there. That was perfectly clean. Didn't touch anything going through the tower. Nice. In the super category, let's go for the Entity XF. Very, very classic supercar in this game. And for this one, I have this idea. Yes. <laughs> I was thinking I can go off of this and I'm gonna make it on top of this roof, but I have to land on the white cube in the middle of this X here on the building. We need to land on top of that. So if I land anywhere else on the roof, it doesn't count has to be straight in the middle. Oh, that angle is very good, actually. Just gonna let it spin, and that might be it already. Third try. No! Yeah, that's the issue as well. We're gonna slide off, and I don't want to use special ability on the landing either. Ooh, that could actually be perfect. No! <laughs> Dude! That speed is really good, but... Yeah, not having the ability to use special ability here on the landing... For sure makes this one harder. Sideways. This has to be. Oh, <laughs> the way I slid right on the edge, that was so close. Oh, don't drive off now. There we go. That was actually harder than I expected. And for the sports classic, we're using the Monroe. Yeah, like I said, we got a very satisfying landing there for sure. But for this one, I want to go for this ramp now and land a precision stunt on this tower 
with a car. I may use special ability on this one, but yeah, we'll see if I end up needing it or not. Let's see, first try. Don't know how much speed I need at all, but I think I need to exit about there. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Special ability might not be needed here. On the landing, of course, that is. Now, I would like to at some point land a precision stunt with a car on any of these green towers that there's plenty of here. I think I've only done it with a bike, so... I feel like before GTA 6, we're gonna have to do it with a car at some point. And who knows, maybe I'll just do it right here. No, <laughs> imagine. Yeah, if I end up using special ability, it's just gonna be like one tap. If I can see that I'll land it, if I do it. Oh, <laughs> for example, on the tower. Oh my god, look at how clean that angle was for the tower. Just, yeah, a bit too slow. Yeah, I'm almost getting better tries for that now than <laughs> the actual landing up here. Ah, two small taps, but I'll take... I'll take it. Very sketchy landing, but finally made it up here. Next up, my least favorite category is the sedans, and let's use the Emperor. Okay, I've had this one as an idea for a while. So, you can slam through these fences right here with a lot more speed, obviously. Go off of this, fly up here, get hit by the wind turbine wing or propeller, get launched in the air, and then just try and land somewhere cool. I mean, it's a slow sedan, so I thought this this was the coolest thing I can come up with. If we go all the way around here, should be able to get enough speed, I think, to get up to the wing. So that teleport save right there. And then we just gotta get the timing right. Oh, that was kind of bad. I wonder if I can get launched far enough to end up on the street, like the highway. That would be pretty cool. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's really good. Oh, it's not far enough, though. Now, imagine if I can land on a second wind turbine after this. I wanted to try that stunt with a bike for quite a while, so maybe I'll do that um, in this series. Oh, here we go. All the way to the street. Or at least the train tracks, maybe? Oh, it's not gonna land properly. Ah, bad landing. It'd be insane if I can time the train coming there and then try to land on it. But it would be pretty much impossible, I feel like, to get the timing on that. Oh, I do hear the train, wait. Good launch, please. Go, 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 go. The train is there, I can hear it. No, I missed my shot. The train, yeah, it just passed right over there. Oh, yeah, see, if I get this launch, don't tell me this would have landed on the train. Oh, it would have been very, it would have been very, very close though. But yeah, it just passed me. There we go. Good launch. Land is clean now, be good. That was kind of clean, actually. I didn't adjust it at all. And yeah, trying to train thing is gonna take forever because obviously I need the launch to be good and also time it with the train, which is like every five minutes or so. Next up, we got the Cavalcade, which is an SUV. And this could end up being the hardest stunt of today's video so far. I want to essentially fly off of this wall right here, probably hit this patch of grass here, and then fly from there and try and make it through the billboard gap that we have right here. I've hit this accidentally one time playing five a man. Now that I'm close to the billboard, can this thing even fit through it? I think so, right? It's gonna barely fit, but yeah, we'll, we'll try it out. Yeah, one thing is we have to have it active here so I don't fly way too far. And essentially miss this thing. Um, but yeah, that looks like it could work. There is a pole right behind it, so... Yeah, I may end up hitting that and getting the car knocked over, but... Hopefully, that doesn't happen. Yeah, we do also have these palm trees right in the way blocking the run-up, so... There's always something in the way. Ooh, that is good, though. Level out the car. No, I couldn't angle it out properly. Good landing, though. Ooh, that's good. Don't hit the palm tree, please. Oh, too much left still. I don't know how we're gonna squeeze past the palm tree and make it in there, man. Right, we crossed an hour. I mean, I've been close, but yeah, not really... Not really getting the angle on this one. It's so difficult. Okay, so I may have spent a bit too long here trying to figure this stunt out. Only to come to the conclusion that I don't think it's even possible to hit this gap. Because this palm tree right here, or the one after it, just blocks the path you need to the billboard. I was thinking, maybe there's something we can do over here to get through the billboard. Will this work? That's also very difficult. Oh, he's good, somehow. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know if we can maybe try that instead. I'm gonna try, otherwise, without to, yeah, find a new spot. Because this was 
just impossible. As long as we can hit that. Yeah, okay. Let's go for this instead. Also a pretty cool one, and this will also guarantee that, yeah, we can fly through it clean. Because on the other angle, I think I would have had to crash and then sort of go through the gap. It is. There we go. We got the spin as well. And of course, we hit the pole just like I predicted. But yeah, I spent a bit too long on that one. So <laughs> let's move on to the next. And this will be a combo stunt with the panto and the body. Body. Something like that. So for this one, let's fly off of this ramp. And then I want to fly high with the panto and end up in the back of the body. Right here. I don't know if it fits or not. But yeah, I'm going to try this lineup. See if it works. Yeah, I mean, I feel like that could fit, right? Uh, looks like it might. Hopefully it doesn't like bug out. Uh, but yeah, it should work. Okay, last parking spot. We'll do the same flip again. See if we can get the same landing. Kind of. Then we can just move the car there. Yeah, keep landing right there in that parking spot. Maybe? Let's go. Come on. I want to get... I want to try and get it in there. It barely fits. But yeah, that's as good as it's going to get right there. All right. We got it. Didn't take too long. All right. In the coops category, we are using the Felon. Okay. So I kind of forgot that I wanted to try this one. But I was thinking, if we can find a good lineup on this ramp right here, I guess we can call it. I want to try and land a precision stunt on these light posts. Either this one or this one right here. Probably going to aim for this one. Just need to yeah, find a good run up. And I think... Should be possible. Okay, I think if I aim for this right here, this gap between these red ones, let's just make sure. Yep, looks pretty damn good. First try. Ah, oh, it's it's not an easy landing to get. Not even with a bike because there's like holes in it and stuff. Decent. I'll try and take up as much space as I can. But yeah, we're gonna bump off so many times. Let's try and get a spin as well. Why not? Make it harder than all of this. Oh, that's possible. Wait, that actually slowed me down enough to give me a really good attempt. That's good. That's good. Yeah, we're good. Nice. There we go. We got it with a flip as well. You just have to get the right lineup and yeah, beautiful landing. All right, for the motorcycles, we're using the Bati 801 Double R. Right, so I spent a long time trying to think of a precision landing that I've never done with a bike. And I thought of this here. Off of this ramp... Gonna have to probably go on like the side of it and then land on this tower right up there. I don't think I've ever landed on it with a bike before, so let's go over here. We don't need too much speed. I'm gonna hold the sticky bomb just to skip the stunt cam. And hopefully we can get like a little wall right up there, kind of. Slow this down a bit. There you go. And then I was thinking we can do this. And then sort of ride up it. Obviously, instead of going backwards, go forwards. <laughs> but yeah, we landed up here. That was also pretty cool. So slow it down a little bit. And if I lean more forwards. Yeah, we should go forward, so we need to get the timing on it, and we should be able to get a nice little landing. Or a direct landing could also work. Insta landing. Yahoo! What on earth just happened? <laughs> what? I've never seen that before. First time I've ever seen that bug in this game. Oh, I thought that could work. That's gonna work. What? It didn't look like I was going right there. Oh, I tried to catch you with the back wheel. Oh, dude, I've been at this one for a while now. I haven't even looked at the timer. That looks really good. Back wheel. No, it's the same thing again. <laughs> That's happened multiple times. Oh, finally, man. Really clean landing, too. I don't know how long that took. Finally got it. Let's keep on moving. We just crossed two hours as well. So next up for a combo stunt, once again, we're using the Fixter and the Dock Tug. Main reason for this being a combo stunt is that this thing cannot do anything. It can't wheel, it can't jump. So, I actually came up with this. If you look at the front of the Dock Tug right here, there's a little gap that you can actually go through. So my idea is to fly off of this ramp with the Fixter and gap through this little thing in the Dock Tug. Pretty cool idea, I think. 
they actually fit very well together. And yeah, like I said, I don't know if there's really much else we can do with this bike. Apart from hitting some type of gap like this. So we just need to find the right lineup. And hopefully land this. But yeah, I don't know if I've ever used this bike in this game. I mean, the only bike I've ever really used is the BMX, obviously. <laughs> yeah, same thing with the dog tag. It's very slow and not really meant for stunting, so... We're just gonna park it and try and use it as a little... Little gap here for the bike, which I only seem to be able to hit with Franklin at the moment. Okay, I had to spawn a new bike, that one got stuck, and that is... <laughs> what was that goofy little bump he did on the top? Okay, yeah, hopefully the gap isn't too glitchy and I can actually... Make it through, but it looks very difficult, man. And hopefully I can get this bike. Oh, we got it! That was actually very clean, okay. I was a bit scared that wasn't gonna work. Moving on to the vans, we are using the burrito. And I actually want to go back to a spot that we used in the previous episode, I think. Where I did a stunt with an SUV. I want to fly off of this, hit this jump, and then in any way possible, hit this little hole that's in the roof. I want to end up dropping down through this hole. Last time I was here, I was planning on doing that, but instead I landed a precision stunt on top of this tower with an SUV. So yeah, for today, let's actually go back and try and get through the hole like I wanted to before. Now, this one will require some finesse to try and make it through there. And let's just get it first try and just keep on driving. Sure, you know what? I'll take it. <laughs> for a first try, we will for sure count that one. Um, okay, did not expect that. Considering the last time I was there, I spent like 30 minutes and I didn't even go through it once. So we'll just we'll just leave it right there. I'm happy. <laughs> for the industrial category, we are using the dump. And believe me or not, we're actually going to do a grind stunt and a precision stunt with this car. Or vehicle. Dump truck. <laughs> well, if you don't believe me, this is the plan. You see this little railing sticking out here on top of the maze bank. We're gonna grind this and then land in the middle of a pool that is at the bottom of the maze bank. I'm pretty sure this is possible, so let's first do a little grind. Easy. And then <laughs> let's aim for the round pool that is right down here on this plaza. That's gonna overshoot it, I think. Unless... First try again. No, we kind of missed it, but yeah. I will count this as a precision landing if we can manage to land right in the middle here. And of course, this insane grind right here. Look at that. Okay, that was actually kind of clean. <laughs> but yeah, I couldn't think of anything else, obviously, to do with this huge dump truck. And is that going to be too short? Yeah, I think so. We'll grind. Probably too slow once again. Let's get a bump off of here. Front flip it. Side flip it. In through water. Do we count it? It was pretty cool. But yeah, we'll go again and try and do one where I don't touch anything after the grind. I think we can get a grind backflip in there. Yes. Oh, that's beautiful. Don't tell me it's too far now. That's so clean. Ah, oh, that's good. Into the water. <laughs> Come on, don't tilt over. Nice. Hey, I mean, it's the dump truck. That's for being the dump truck. I will take that as a stunt any day. Now, the rental shuttle bus, however, in the service category, we're just gonna do something simple. I feel like, cause, dude, I was looking around for stunts with this, and I just couldn't come up with anything. So, I just wanna jump this and land the stunt jump. Absolutely insane. I know. Please allow me to skip this one, please, guys. <laughs> that counts. A stunt jump. We had some tricky stunts in this episode, so yeah, we'll count that for this one. I hate buses. In the commercial category, we got the mule. Now, same thing here. This one, I'm very bad at stunting, but I found this here that could be kind of fun. If we fly off of this edge here, there's a pool that's shaped almost exactly as this mule. You see that one right down there? I think we can gap perfectly into that pool and fit it in there. You know, the further on we get in the video, we get to these like weird categories with the with the utility and the service, the boats and stuff. So yeah, the stunts do tend to get a bit weirder uh, the longer into the video we go, but some of them still end up being kind of fun. Try and make it to the pool. I want a perfect splash down into that pool. Pretty good. Oh, I don't know if it fits actually. Oh. Oh. Bit farther, come on. Surely, right? Hey, there we go. Beautiful. I'm just gonna leave this here in case they want a truck. All right, there you go. Moving on with another truck in the emergency category, we got the fire truck. Now, my idea for this one is pretty simple. I'm not gonna be driving the fire truck. We're gonna blow this thing up. Just like that. And then we're gonna wait for the fire department to come here. Hear the sirens. Yep, there they are. And then my idea is to try and land a bike on this fire truck. <laughs> 
that's the idea here. It's not quite on fire anymore, but I'm just gonna let these guys do their thing. Oh, they just... Just left them behind, okay. <laughs> and now we gotta chase this thing and try and land on the back of it. It'd be really nice if we can stay at the airport and just do circles. Because then I can try and go off of these ramps here and just land on the back of it. Well, it's gonna be very hard to see where it's going. Maybe I can even drop down from this. Nope! Almost got it, okay. I have to be careful not to piss it off as well because they can just jump out and leave it. Oh, he's going so fast, dude. He's speeding. Look at him. Oh, how am I going to get the timing on this? Is he going here again? I thought he would be in, like, cruising mode, but, dude, he is absolutely flying here. <laughs> he's speeding. For he's speeding ahead of everybody. Look at him. Okay, he just took a corner here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, this guy's insane. Ah, no. Come on. I think he's slowed down a bit. No, he has not slowed down. Holy, he's going fast. <laughs> dude, I can't catch up. Nope. Dude, this guy's crashing and everything. No, he's going this way. What is he doing? Why are you going in circles? I swear, he's making it way harder for me than it has to be. Okay, here, 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 here. Perfect. Oh my god, why can't you get the bump? He just crashed into somebody again. Okay, they're stuck. This is the weirdest fire truck I've ever followed. Okay, let's try this one again. Oh, oh my... No, I'm getting... Oh, what a... Snipe, dude, <laughs> right on the roof. Stuck it perfectly, and I think this hosting at the top here is actually holding me on. Oh, there we go. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Everything. What? What's happening? Yeah, that's what you get for making this insanely difficult for me. <laughs> right, for the boat category, we have the Kraken, which is the submarine, which I've actually just parked in the water. And we're going to stay with the body for this one as well, because... I mean, what can you even do stunt-wise with a submarine while, yeah, maneuvering it? So, for this one... We are just, we are just gonna try and get a precision landing on top of the Kraken. Right here. Nope, spawn back. Yeah, just gonna see if we can get this. I've actually never tried this, so... I don't know how hard it's gonna be to balance on there. I think I pushed it too far away for this run up here. Last one. Ah! No, really close. Okay, it's possible. But yeah, I pushed it all the way to the other side. It's even harder now, come on. Now, I think in the future, whenever I try combo stunts with bikes, I'm gonna use bikes that I haven't used before. But that way we can work off the list even faster, of course. That's good. Yes! Beautiful. Got it. <laughs> right on the edge. Very close. Now, it's kind of hard because this thing just kept on floating away from me. All right, for the planes, let's use the Cuban 800. I think after this, we only have one more vehicle left. Let's see if we can finish this in less than three hours. For this one, I just want to fly safely through the military base tunnel. Without touching anything. Just like that. I mean, I'm getting... I'm, I'm getting better with planes <laughs> doing this series here. We didn't touch anything right there. That was clean. Now, it's a tradition to, whenever I get it perfectly clean, to go back and try it again. For a back-to-back -back one. Just trying to try and cruise into it. We got a big truck right there. Gotta make sure we're high enough here. Oh, beautiful. Wow, this plane is very, very steady. Compared to... Oof, compared to other planes. Okay, keep on going. Number three. Here we go. It's not a perfect one. Alright, we we'll keep going again. <laughs> Did not expect this plane to be this steady. Oh, that's not a good entry, though. It's not a good entry. Oh, dude, I had to save that. That was not very clean. But hey, we got three. That's pretty good. And for the final vehicle, we got the Frogger helicopter. And for this, I want to try and do a skydive stunt. Those gaps right there below me. And then just, yeah, pull the parachute and hopefully land it. See if we can get the first try. I'm not sure how far away I have to be. Oh, that's not a good lineup at all. Need to go a bit more forward so we get some momentum going. That's uh, probably a bit too much. Or maybe if we go straight down here. Then... <laughs> oh, my... God, that landing! Not the easiest skydive. I'll say that much. Hey, I made it through the gap, but yeah, I <laughs> forgot to pull the parachute. I'm starting to doubt this spot. I don't know how to get the timing right. Very difficult. Okay, I'm switching to a backup stunt instead. That one ended up being <laughs> way too difficult, and quite honestly, don't even know if it's possible to hit that gap. But we have this one over here instead. We need to fit nicely through... That gap right here. So we need to first make sure that we go between these walls here and then go through this gap. At least this one I can visually see that it's possible, you know? The other one I'm not sure. Just wanted to try it. But here we go. 
yeah, I'm not doing it that much better here. But I believe it's just a skill issue on my end, to be honest. I think it's kind of hard to do Skada Stance with a keyboard. But we got that one at least. Hey, there we go. I'll take it. <laughs> we crossed over three hours in today's episode. Three hours and 11 minutes for all 21 categories. Well, I think we did 20 today because I'm actually done with the military category. But anyways, that'll be it for today. Click right here to check out the previous episode. And yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Take care.